So now, do you live in a place where it snows for six months out of the year, or three months out of the year, or even one month out of the year? And you want to fly in that snow. You want to fly during that winter season. But you're afraid that if you land in the snow, you're going to damage your quad. It's a good concern. It's my concern. So I haven't been water protecting my, my quads at all. And I should. I don't. But I should. So when I do go out and fly, what I have been doing is being very careful and landing in my trunk on a car, but more times than not, I land in the snow because I, well, I suck at landing. Just do. So if I do land in the snow, and if it's just a little light, light amount of snow, generally I just blow it off and let it sit, fly another quad. But if I throw it in there and it's really packed with snow, well, then at that point, I generally unplug it, of course, and I set it off to the side, and I don't fly it for at least a day, and just let it dry out, and everything's been fine so far. Knock on wood. So I've been thinking about, you know, putting some conformal on there and sealing it up and making sure that I can just, if I land in the snow, who cares? I just take off and go, and not waste any time and not have to worry about it. So I was going to order up some conformal, and I did. Um, but in the meantime, while I'm waiting for it to show up, I thought I would try some other things out. I saw that there were some alternatives, possibly. WD-40 specialist silicone spray for comes to mind. I saw a video on that where a guy was using it and it worked just fine. So I decided I was going to run to the local store and I was going to grab some of that WD-40. Well, they didn't have it. So, But what they did have was liquid wrench. And this is a silicone spray, waterproof parts, slick coating. And it says it's dielectric, uh, waterproof, stops rust, lubricates, um, coats, coating, sli non slick coating, or sorry, non stick coating, repels moisture. Nice. Uh, Use on rubber, wood, plastic, vinyl, metal, painted surfaces, garden, snow shovel, snow blower, shoots. Oh, snow blower, shoots. I should know that door gaskets, so on and so forth. So I figure, why not? It's not conductive, so it's not gonna uh, conduce electricity or anything like that. It's silicone, so it's gonna be used as like a, it's the same thing as these wires that are, you know, coated in silicone for insulation. So I'm gonna give it a shot. So I have this set up right here, and I know it's ugly, but it's just one of my very many random all-in-one flight controllers just sitting around. And I hooked up uh, an HD0 VTX. It was just, it's there. I've been putting it into some other, other of my quads. So I figured I'd just tap it in there real quick and see what happens. So let's see what happens. All right. So here we go. I'm using HD0. Um, I'm recording it right now, the OSD. I kind of got to do it quick because, gosh, the, these... Uh, HD zero boards just get freaking just crazy hot, crazy fast. Um, so here we go. I'm not dunking the HD zero. I'm only dunking this, the, the flight controller. And this is burning my hand right now. So we are going to give this a dunk. And it went out immediately. Look like... As soon as this part here touched, it just shorted out immediately. So I think it was inside these plugs, possibly. Yeah, it shorted out. So I'm going to just let this dry, and I'm going to give it another round. Give it another, another go. All right, so I set this last night, and I, I thought I was recording it, and I ended up taking a photo. I apologize for that, but it was also like two in the morning. Um, so I pretty much just doused this thing, as you see in the photo, just covered it in, uh, in the spray, just because why not, right? Um, so we're going to test it out here. I'm going to give it another shot. 
Now I'm also wondering if these shorted out too, but I don't think it did. All right, everything is lit up, as you can see. Getting power. VTX is also getting power. Everything looks good here. So I'm going to move the water over, and we're going to give this another shot. I really want it to work, but if it doesn't, well, who cares? It's fun. Here we go. And out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Nope. Do not think it's going to work. So I'm going to say that liquid wrench, silicone spray. And no. All right. Well, you saw exactly what happened. It doesn't work. I wouldn't recommend using this for waterproofing a quad. It's just not going to work. Uh, I tried it, as you saw, several different ways, a couple different ways. Now, I don't know if, I mean, the directions say spray surfaces lightly. For small area applications, apply silicone to a clean cloth and wipe area to be lubricated. Remove any overspray from floors of, to avoid slips and falls. That's it. That's the instructions. So, yeah, it doesn't work. I mean, I, the second round, I just dosed the heck out of it and just let it sit, hoping it would get into everything and just kind of seal up or something, anything. But no, it, it doesn't work. So that's fine. I mean, it was 6 $7. It wasn't like I spent a fortune on it or anything like that. But the thing I really liked about it is I had fun. It was enjoyable. It was fun. It was a little, little bit of a uh, little educational in a sense. And I actually might continue on and create a series out of these videos where I just grab different things, different things that are supposed to waterproof and give it a shot. And why not? You know, I enjoyed doing this video. I enjoyed doing the tests. It was, well, enjoyable. So keep looking for more of these. And if you decide uh, that you want to try it out, give it a shot, go for it. If you know of anything else that's kind of just off the shelf at a local store, that will work. Put it in the comments and I'll give it a shot. So thank you and have a great day.